Hello everybody, it's Dana Sullivan, the Stampin' Chick, here with another Make It Monday. <laughs> How are you today, my friends? I hope you had a fabulous weekend. I am going to do a little adjusting here and uh, see if we can't wait for just a few minutes for some folks. Oh, I see we've got folks coming in. Please say hello when you come in so I know you're here. And uh, let me check my computer to make sure I'm in the right spot, and I believe I am. Oh my, today has been a gorgeous day, but uh, so weird East Tennessee weather. Uh, can I just say, I mean, we had a big bout of snow when was that, folks? Friday, I believe. Thursday, it was absolutely gorgeous out. I was wearing capris and a t-shirt and my flip-flops. And then Friday, we woke up to like five inches of snow and it was freezing cold. <laughs> and then today, again, it's beautiful and uh, so weird. <laughs> Hi, Miss Susan. How are you? I hope you're doing well today. Let me refresh my page here. I see I've got some folks in, so please say hi. Oh, Luann's here. Hey, darling. How are you? Okay, I'm just trying to uh, check my page to see if I see myself because I just want to make sure I'm in the right spot. And it looks like... Looks like I am. There we go. Oh, Carol. Hey, doll. How are you? Oh, you just got home right on time. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, let me get comfy cozy here. Now that I've got my computer up and set, and uh, I'm able to maybe sort of see messages, so hopefully I can. Okay. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you uh, one of Stampin' Up's absolutely super fabulous kits collection kits. And uh, this one is the newest, latest, greatest. It's called Robot Buddies. And um, this is going to be kind of an unboxing, but we're going to do some playing too. So let me just get that box out of the way there. Okay, so as you can see, I've not even opened it yet, which is just, I mean, unheard of. <laughs> but I just got it the other day, and I haven't had a chance to play with it yet, so I thought we could play with it together. Would it be a lot of fun, right? Okay, so uh, if you would, uh, I would love for you to share my video to your pages if you'd like. Uh, you can invite other people, friends, uh, to come and watch with us because uh, caring is sharing and sharing is fun. And seeing all of you wonderful people in here crafting together with me is so much fun. And I love hanging out with you guys. So anyway, if you'd like to share my live video, I would love for you to do that. And I, I appreciate it very much. It gets me seen and uh, it lets your friends see what you're up to as well so okay now then this kit is um, all-inclusive which is a wonderful thing about these uh, kits collection kits is that um, there are a few of them that do not have any stamping that are just assembly type kits and then there are the rest that have stamps and ink they include the block there's adhesive in here. They're literally all-inclusive. They, they have every single thing that you need to create the projects, okay? So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. And um, I'm going to go ahead and open this. And I'm going to save these little Stampin' Dots. Um, and I'm going to bring in my full-sized ink pads. This is just to make it a little bit easier on me and not to open up something that I already have open. So let me go ahead and open the package here. 
Now, I admit, when I looked at this package, uh, when I first saw the kit, I thought, mm, I don't know, that might be just a little bit juvenile for me, but I have been wrong before. And uh, when Stampin' Up! has created some fun, cute project thing, and I have said, eh, I don't really need such a childish sort of deal. And then I put it together, and it's the cutest thing ever. So I have made it a point to uh, get them and try them out before I say such crazy things. <laughs> There are the um, dimensionals, so as I said, each kit is all-inclusive. That includes all of the adhesives as well as the stamps and ink, which is awesome. Okay, it looks like we have three different cards, and we're making, uh, we'll make one of each of them this evening, but there are uh, enough supplies for nine cards altogether. You know what, this would be great for um, invitations for a birthday or whatever. It's got happy birthday in the stamp set and let's be friends. So this would be a super cute uh, invitation collection. Okay, now one of the wonderful things about um, the Stampin' Up! instructions is that it has all of these fabulous pictures. It shows you how to attach the stamp to the block. And then it even shows you where to put uh, all of the adhesive bits and everything else. So it's really cool. Okay, from the instructions here, let's dive into this kit just a little more. So we have our Stampin' Dimensionals there. Some really cute envelopes, which for those of you who know me uh, and have followed my Paper Pumpkin Adventures... You know that I love dismantling an envelope and using its elements to create alternative projects. So I can see that I will be doing that with this kit as well. So I'll set that off to the side. And let's see, here's one of our card bases. Something fun that you can do with, uh, with these kind of things is if you cut them in half and then attach them to a standard white card base, you can actually get double the amount of cards for each kit, which is a really cool thing to know. Uh, it's a great way to um, extend the life of your kits. And so this one is really cool. It's got little light blue cogs and gears. I don't know if you can see that very well, but... That's pretty nice. And uh, these card bases, of course, are plain white on the inside, but they're really nice patterns on the outside. Now, this one would be a bit too much to do uh, as far as cutting it and doubling your, your um, projects. You'd have to do some coloring or whatever to make this kind of faux background or whatever. But you wouldn't have to if you didn't want to, of course. Oh, and we've got stickers. Okay, this is pretty cool. I <laughs> I really like this color combination. Um, it's very appealing to me. One of the things that I love about Stampin' Up! is seeing all of these really cool color combinations. And they always know how to just put things together and it looks amazing, right? So... This is really cool. It's um, it's a build a build a robot kit here, uh, so that's pretty neat. We'll see how that comes into play. And then we have uh, we've got the little thought bubbles that we'll be stamping in, so that's nice. And uh, it looks like we actually got an extra sheet of them, or at least I did. I don't know if they were originally stuck together or if they're supposed to be two sheets, but that's pretty cool that there are. Um, that way we're able to do another set of cards with those as well, so that's awesome. And then I've got some uh, card layers here, so that's pretty cool. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Now, if you wouldn't mind to bear with me because you watched me open this this kit, so I have absolutely zero idea 
how to put these together. So we're going to go through the instructions and I'm going to put these cards together for the first time right here in front of you. And uh, hopefully you won't mind. <laughs> okay, so I'll start with um, the first card here. Looks like I'm going to need this card base. I'm going to need a basic white layer piece here. Let me check the instruction uh, right there. Okay, so I'm going to be doing all of the stamping. And then it looks like I'm taking, <clears throat> excuse me, it looks like I'm taking uh, some bow ties and the little hearts and putting them inside the, the robot. So, okay. Then the first thing I need to do is uh, grab some blocks. And the kit automatically comes with this block here. And this is a nice little block that you'll be able to reuse over and over and over again. Um, <clears throat> but if you do a lot of stamping, then uh, you'll see this kind of block while it's the same size of space here. It's easier to hang on to than these ones are. So, um, you know, for starting out, that's a great block. But when you realize that you absolutely love paper crafting and you want to get more involved, then I recommend you get one of these blocks because they're fabulous. Now, for the sake of time and cleaning everything, I've brought a few other little blocks in as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and I'm going to start putting my stamps on blocks. And if you don't know how to do that, um, notice that I just peeled this backing off and uh, it's really easy to do. You'll notice that there's a kind of etched side that has all the details and then the back side is flat. The back side that's flat is the side that you're going to put on your acrylic block and it sticks like Velcro. It's amazing. So it's just, it peels off and it sticks back on. So very easy to use, very easy to do. And um, all right, so we've got that one. Let me get, just gonna go ahead and put all of these on blocks right quick. It'll make it a little bit easier when it comes to stamping all of our parts here. So give me just a minute. <clears throat> adding all of these pieces together here. Uh, what did you have for dinner, Carol? I admit I was doing the same thing. Um, Matthew and I have started watching the series Bones on um, Hulu. And so we watched an episode and had dinner right quick. And, and then I came running downstairs to get busy. <laughs> So, there we go. Make sure that's straight. Okay. All right, all right. I'm actually really, uh, really looking forward to playing with this stamp set. Now, of course, once you have your, um, once you have all of your projects made in the kit, you're left with this fabulous stamp set that you can use over and over and over again and um, the ink spots you can actually get ink refills to refill them uh, so that you can use them over and over again as well let me bring this closer to me I may bring this out of out of view for just a second I'm just trying to get over the top of it so I can line it up better so okay Keep these two pieces right here for when you're done with your cards and projects and after you've cleaned your stamps, you'll put them back on these acetate sheets uh, for storage, okay? So keep both, both pieces here, all right? Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to slow down just a little bit. Not, not much, but... I tend to talk a little too fast sometimes, and maybe that makes it a little bit difficult to keep up with me, so 
Uh, if you're brand new to paper crafting, welcome. Welcome to my page. If this is your first time watching me live, I don't normally do uh, kit unboxing videos, but um, this one was really fun, and uh, so I thought I would do it um, live with you guys so that way you could see what the kit looks like and um, and how much fun it is to do and how easy it is to do so uh, if you're a new stamper this kind of kit is absolutely perfect for beginners <clears throat> because you don't have to have a whole lot invested it has everything involved uh, in the package for you so you don't have to buy a whole bunch of extra stuff right the kit was uh, $23 and it had everything so it's a really small investment and it gives you a great experience with paper crafting which is awesome oh Carol you had a grilled peanut butter sandwich nice <laughs> oh Trinity Faye's got pizza coming we uh, we talked about having pizza and uh, we're supposed to not be eating junk food as much um, but I'm ashamed to say that um, because I had my live and uh, he was home from work late because they had a call or whatever it is that they had to do and uh, I sent him to get fast food. <gasps> awful, awful, awful. Oh, Luann loves pizza. Yeah, yeah, me too, darling, me too. Okay, we're going to be stamping on this piece right here. And I'm using, uh, you know what, I think I'm going to stamp the guy in the middle first. That way I can get them a little more even. I don't know, we'll see how that works. But I'm going to use the pumpkin pie ink first. Now remember, your kit actually comes with each of the two colors. So the only thing I'm using that's not in the kit is an upsized version of the same thing that comes in your kit. Okay, so... I'm not using anything outside of the kit tonight. I'm just um, I'm just stamping and using the stuff that's in the kit. Okay. Now with photopolymer stamps, it's a good idea to have some kind of a thick cushion underneath. You don't want it to actually be a soft cushion. A magazine is perfect for this. I'm using my Stampin' Pierce mat. Um, but you don't have to have this. A magazine or a phone book, actually a phone book is perfect for this because it's nice and thick um, and it's pretty solid when you press down on it. So that's a perfect thing to do. Um, a softback book is also a great thing. You're actually not going to do any damage to that itself. You're stamping on the paper. You just need a little... Um, a little support maybe a little structure um, and then when you're inking up your stamp uh, because this is a bigger ink pad than my stamp I actually um, stamp this way but with these little ink spots it's actually easier to turn the stamp upside down and ink it this way so there's really not a right or wrong in that regard I tend to gravitate towards whichever is the biggest thing is on top. And uh, if you look at your stamp and see that it's not evenly coated, sometimes that's because photopolymer stamps have a kind of a clear coat on them that keeps them from drying out from manufacturing. So if you just take a piece of scratch paper and with it inked up just kind of rub it around on the paper and uh, you're rubbing off the ink but you're actually kind of priming the stamp and then when you ink it up again you'll notice that it's a little more evenly covered that's just a little tip for you there it kind of helps um, prime the stamp and it gets that ucky layer off there we go. All right. And then I need his little round head. And that looks okay. 
All right, and woo, this is one of those you kind of got to lean over to see. So I'm going to try to stay out of the way. Um, are y'all making fun of me saying phone books? Listen, you can do any kind of books. <laughs> yeah, you're right. There probably aren't very many phone books around anymore. Though, actually, uh, we still get, um, we still get the yellow pages for our county. It's, I don't know about that big. Um, you know, it's for the whole county, so it's bigger than it would be for just town. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I've got this uh, robot stamped. I'm going to stamp one of each of the other ones. So let me just see if it's inking up okay. It looks like I need to swipe it too. Sometimes you have to, and that's okay. Let me go ahead and get his head while I'm looking at it. Um, there we go. All right. You can use whatever you have, though. Like I said, a, a paperback book is perfectly okay, or a magazine, uh, though I don't know how many people have magazines anymore. You can read everything online, so who knows? This may be a thing of the past. Put a stack of bills together. There you go. Everybody has those. Put a stack of bills together and uh, and do it that way. There we go. Look at that. Problem solved. Okay. Now I've stamped two of the same body because this robot is the same, though we're going to be, uh, we're going to be making one of them a little boy robot and one of them a little girl robot. So, you know, that'll be fun. All right. Here we go. And there we go. Okay, now then, let's see. What else do we need to do here? Oh, I need to stamp the happy birthday in the orange. Now, I'm just setting my stamps that I've already used out of the way so that I don't put my hand in them because that is ultimately what I will do. So, trying not to do that. Okay, I've got my little sentiment piece here. And my happy birthday stamp. So tap, tap, tap. Not smush, smush, smush. And see if I can line it up okay. Not too shabby. All right. Set these out of the way here. Now let me see. Because I need some things from the uh, printout or the stickers here. So people that have littles. Selling for school fundraisers have magazines. Oh, yes, you're right, Carol. You are absolutely right. Okay, we need a little green bow tie. I'm just going to grab my stickers here. We need a green bow tie, and we're going to put it right here on this fella. Oh, that's cute. And then the orange bow is going to be for the little girl's hair head. I guess I can't really say her hair, right? <laughs> okay, and then this guy right here has um, a little section of hearts. So we'll put that in right there. Oh, look at that. That is so cute. I love this. It adds a little bit of texture, too, because all this stuff, even though it's flat, it's raised up just the tiniest bit for the stickers. Okay, and then it actually has us putting in this little orange uh, polka-dotted centerpiece here for the little girl because you know how we like to color coordinate. So she's got her little bow and then her little dots as well. And I think that's it. So now then... Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this sheet of dimensionals that I've already been picking at, but they're the exact same thing as this. I just don't want to use a, a brand new one. Call me uh, a little OCD. It's okay. Okay, so now we're going to put dimensionals here, and because this is a really big piece, I'm going to put one in the middle so we don't have any sagging. And then I believe we're also putting dimensionals on our sentiment piece here. So we'll do that, and then let's assemble this card. 
So we have the card here. I'm making sure that it opens the right direction. That is a common problem. <laughs> Put things in upside down. It happens, people. It happens. So it's okay. We just double check to make sure that it doesn't happen to us live. That's all. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to put this here. Just make sure it's kind of centered. Looks good. And then put the sentiment piece. I really like these thought bubbles. They're super cute. I wish we had a die set that was just thought bubbles. That'd be so much fun. Okay. And then this one goes right there. Okay. Now all of the envelopes are exactly the same. So I don't have to pick which one goes with which card. I'll just grab one. Uh, but I will tell you, and if you've been watching my videos for any length of time, I have a thing that I like to say, which is no naked insides and no naked envelopes. And this inside is completely naked. So I'm going to step away from the instruction now and show you what I would do to zhuzh up the inside and the envelope, even though it's got some printing to it. That striped printing is pretty plain. Now the inside is beautiful, but uh, we're just going to take our robot here and we're going to stamp him on the envelope and on the inside. And since the blue one or the uh, Bermuda Bay one has been used twice here, we'll go ahead and use the orange one on the inside and the envelope, okay? So I'm going to bring my pad back in and my pumpkin pie ink pad. Tap, tap, tap. Not smush, smush, smush. See if I can get him wind up okay here. Set that aside for just a moment and bring in the envelope and I'll just do them both at the same time. There we go. And then his head. There we are. And very nice. And here. Now I'm not going to worry about putting any more stickers on here because uh, honestly I don't know how many stickers we have left over if we were to do the kit exactly as instructed. So I don't want to use any extras of anything without knowing that. But this is something that you can do that doesn't take away from your kit at all. Okay, so you can dress it up a little bit and uh, it looks super cool. You know what else? Typically, when I do my envelopes, I do the front and I do the flap. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do with the flap. I'm going to grab my scrap paper here because I'm going to stamp off of the flap a little bit. I'm going to bring this collar down just, just there. So you're just seeing the top of his shoulders. And there we go. I like it. Okay. I think that's good. All right. What do you think? That's pretty cute, isn't it? Super simple, super cute. And then, of course, if you were doing invitations, you could totally put, it's a party, to, uh, you know, for, when, where, what time, all that good stuff. Uh, and you know what? This doesn't have to be a birthday party invitation. This would be a super cute birthday card, not just for a little boy, but for a girl. And you know what? Maybe one of my Stampin' Girls is going to get this one. Who knows? I think it's super cute. All right, so that is card number one. Let's go ahead and move on to card number two. Card number two uses this really pretty blue cog uh, paper here. So let me fold it over. And I'm using a bone folder to burnish the fold line. The fold line is already there, and you don't have to use the bone folder. Uh, if you don't have anything, you could actually use the bottom of your ink spot and just go like that. And that will give you that nice, even crease, just as if you had a bone folder. So you actually don't have to have that. 
Some of the things that I'm using here are extra things. It just makes it nice and easy to have a bigger tool rather than using the little um, ink spot, okay? All right, this one is an upright card. And it looks like we're using a lot of stickers for this one, so I'm going to have to open the instructions up. And we're also using one of those white layers and we're using this Bermuda Bay Thought Bubble right here. Uh, Luann still likes her magazines. I do too. I, you know what? I like actual books too. I, I appreciate Kindle and and uh, all of that stuff, but I really like actual books too. I like the smell of paper, especially old paper. I'm weird like that, but you know, whatever. Okay. This one, I'm going to just open the instruction here. Here's another thing, too. You don't even have to have um, a, a ruler. You can use the measurement here on the paper for uh, any of the things that re would require measuring. Some of these kits have ribbon in them, and so they will tell you to use, say, 8 inches of ribbon and you can just line it up here to here and then cut it and there's your eight inches so I always say that these kids have absolutely everything you need except a pair of scissors and most people have a pair of scissors laying around so otherwise everything is in here which makes it super handy dandy okay now let's be friends is what we're stamping on this thought bubble so let me bring in my pierce mat again and tap 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 not smush 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 now I say that as a reminder to myself as well you're actually not pounding the stamp down into the ink pad you're just lightly tapping it onto the ink you're letting the weight of the block itself tap the ink in to the stamp and this way you don't have a lot of excess ink on your stamp and you're less likely to make a mess with it. And also, when you stamp down, you want to stamp directly down and not rock and roll back and forth or anything like that. Uh, just tap it straight down, give it a firm, even press, and then lift it straight back up and you get a nice, even stamping. Okay. All right. Let me get that closed. Okay, now it looks like everything else on this is going to be done with these little stickers. Whoops, not that one. Let me at least finish this one first. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. This one right here is the one that we're using. So we'll put this guy down here. somewhere in there and I'm not going to put it down too tight yet because I like to finagle with things until they're right so I'll just lightly set them down so that they look like they look like they're right let me hold that up right and make sure that it's straight ish okay that looks pretty good all right and then let's see it needs this piece for the face this is really neat because um, I don't know how many kits that we've ever had in the past that you actually use stickers to um, to assemble the project, which is kind of neat. So, oh, I realized something that I missed on the other card. Oh, I have to show you that. Okay, hold on just a second here. I'm going to put this one right here. Tell you sometimes... I'm like, ooh, squirrel. Okay, now that we have those things, I don't think I'm taking anything else. Nope, I'm not. Okay, let me show you what I missed. Ooh, I did. I missed it. Okay, this kit includes little googly eyes. <laughs> They're so cute. There's a... Uh, Balmy Blue, Knight of Navy, I don't know, just Jade, maybe Garden Green. 
granny apple green and uh, pumpkin pie and they're so cute so this one oh that's Bermuda Bay duh <laughs> all right let's see here oh yeah when I pull it out of the package I can see it better <laughs> okay I'm gonna show you another really cool little tool that uh, isn't in the kit and it's not required but it does make life so easy when you have it. This is called the Take Your Pick tool, and uh, it actually doesn't come with this attachment here. I put it on there. It comes with this really cool attachment here, and uh, this thing is great because it's got putty on one end, and so when you pull the cap off of here, you can actually pick things up, and then you could put your glue on or whatever and stick it down where it needs to go and it's just a super handy dandy thing and then this end uh, twist and unlocks to get a little um, spatula and then a pokey tool I like the pokey tool that's a technical term it's actually a, a piercer uh, whatever you know pokey tool is good um, but it's really handy to put underneath these little adhesive things here and then I can carry it over to where I want it and put it down directly where it needs to go. Isn't that the coolest thing? So this is a really handy gadget to have. Let me set that off to the side. Okay, now we're done with this card. Super, super easy. All right, let me grab my dimensionals again. We're going to put these on the back side just like we did the other one. Okay. And then let me get that out of the way. All right, I'm opening my card to make sure it's pointed the right direction. Always a good idea. Get this adhesive backing off. And right there in the middle of the card. Fabulous. And then just like with the other, we're going to put dimensionals, except this one's a little bit smaller, so I'm actually just going to cut my dimensional in half. There we go. That way I can use one. It's a bit smaller, so it doesn't really need two big ones, but, you know, it's okay if you want to. All right. Now this little dude says, let's be friends. And I think that's so cute. All right. There we go. Now, this one's a little bit different, right? Because this one was all stickers, and uh, it wasn't actually... Um, it wasn't actually stamped robots, and you could stamp one of the uh, orange or um, the pumpkin pie or Bermuda Bay robots if you wanted to. However, the stamp set also includes these super cool little cog uh, stamps, so I thought maybe we could try these for our inside and envelope. What do you think? So let me go ahead and fold my envelope there. And I'm going to do a little of both here. So I'll do some Bermuda Bay. And I'm just going to stamp right there. And notice I'm cheating and not using my pierce mat. But you know what? It's a little thing, so it's okay. There we go. And then let me get the bigger one with the pumpkin pie there we go that looks like a face oh ideas <laughs> that so looks like a cute face oh my gosh okay all right I may have to play with that one oh that's a great idea. Okay, let's do this. And there. Super cute. And that's a great little inside panel. 
dresses up the inside and the envelope nicely. Coordinates very well with the uh, little sticker robots, too, I think. What do you think, huh? That does look like a face, though, doesn't it? Yes, I think so. All right. Now we'll set this one aside. This is card number two. We're almost finished with each of the little projects. Super, super fun. All right, this one is uh, using the printed, the printed front side here. So let's see. We'll go ahead and fold it in half and burnish the line there. You could also use your fingernail, though I admit it's a little bit hard on your fingernails when you do that. So uh, looks like the face of the sugar skulls. <gasps> yes, Donna. Yes, it does. Oh, you're right, friend. Okay, and we're going to, let's see, we need to clean our stamps because this time we're using the same robot that we used. Oh, we're switching the body and head. Okay, this right here is called Simply Chamois. It comes in a vacuum sealed bag. It's nice and pliable. Uh, I've put it in an empty stamp case so that I have it available at my desk at all times. But this is a great way of cleaning your stamps. If you don't have this, you could use baby wipes. Uh, for photopolymer stamps, they're actually really cool because you can just rinse them under uh, running water and that will clean them. So it's pretty cool. Um, with rubber stamps, you really can't do that because you don't want to get the foam all icky or whatever, and you don't want, um, you know, you don't want to make a mess and separate the foam from the rubber. But uh, with these photopolymer stamps, it's really easy to be able to just rinse them underwater, so that makes them even better for beginners because you don't have to have a lot of stuff. So, but this chamois is really cool. Um, all this stuff that you see here is actually stained. Notice that I'm cleaning and it's not coming off on my stamp. It's a nice and clean stamp now. Um, this is from lots and lots of use. I've actually had this chamois for a couple of years now. And, um, you know, every day when I'm done playing in here, I take it and wash it in the sink with a little bit of soap and some warm water and uh, wring it out and then it's good to go and clean and ready for the next day's work. So it's definitely a handy tool to clean your stamps with and uh, just see it makes really easy work out of it. Okay, and then I set it aside and I can clean it when I'm done for the day. Okay, now this one's pretty fun. I'm gonna be using this body with this head so we're switching the heads and bodies around a little bit. Let me grab my pierce mat here. Okay, and we're going to be using the Bermuda Bay. So let me grab that and tap, 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 not smush, smush, smush. And then we're going to stamp them right here in the middle. There we go. And... Tap, tap, tap. There we are. Okay, now the Let's Be Friends is going to be stamped in pumpkin pie ink with the pumpkin pie thought bubble. All right. Let's Be Friends. Tap, tap, tap. Not smush, smush, smush. And there we go. Very good. Okay. Now this guy's going to go on dimensionals. What did I do with them? There they are. And again, like I did before, I'm just going to cut the dimensional in half. There we go. Okay, and you know what? It shows right there, but that's so weird. So I'm going to put it right here. Okay, 
There we go. Because that's weird to have the thought bubble over there, right? I mean, he's not talking over there. He's talking over here. Okay, anyway. All right, now I'm going to take this one here and put it. These are so cute. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And then the little flower is going to go right here. Love it. And then this one here is going to go over here. And these stickers are super stinking cute. All right. There we go. Okay. Very cute. Now, there are a ton of stickers on here. Um, different, uh, different robots. And, uh, let's see. The only things that we used, well, let's finish this guy right quick. Don't let me get off task. I'm awful about that. Okay. This one uses the little green eyes, but think they blend a little too much so maybe I want to give him these navy blue eyes oh yeah that's what we want to do there we go that's cute okay now then let me grab an envelope here and then I will go back and um when I show you all three cards again I'll go back and add the eyes to the other yeah, we'll go back and add the eyes to the other deal. Okay, so for the inside of this one, uh, let's see. I think maybe stamping our little friend is a good idea. Let me see. Yeah, I stamped the orange one on the first card. So, okay, let me do this. Grab my pierce mat here. Tap, tap, tap. Let's put him on this side this time. I want to make them all a little bit different, huh? Okay. But now in the envelope, it's kind of hard to be too much different because, well, you know, you've got addresses that have to go and, well, all the things. So uh, let's do that. And then let me grab his head. Put that on there. Grab his head. That sounds so weird. And then put that there. And then let me do let me do something different. Hi, Miss Elaine. How are you, sweetheart? How is North Carolina today? Let's put let's put this guy here, shall we? That's cool. And then on the in on the envelope, let's do the same thing on the flap, huh? Let's go here. And there. That's awesome. Okay. And you know what? Maybe I'll put one there. It kind of looks like a ball now. Like he's playing kickball. <laughs> We're having so much fun. Okay. There is card number three. Super cute. I love the little goo goo eyes. Very cute. The stickers are neat. All right, so now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to show you all three cards. So this one had uh, the little green googly eyes and the inside had the cogs and gears right there. And then the first one, we did this and this on the envelope. And... Uh, Oh, yeah. Elaine, it was the same way it was here, too. Uh, Elaine says that it was, um, oh gosh, where did it go? Ah, I just had it. Oh, my goodness. Well, I tell you what, my, there we go. Oh, I've got some folks who are coming. Hi, Miss Vicky. How are you? Uh, Elaine had said something about the temperature being, um, being like 18 degrees on Sunday and being really nice today, I think is what she said. Oh yeah, there it is. Beautiful today and Sunday morning was 18 degrees and that's the same way it was here too. Absolutely crazy. 
crazy. I was saying that on Thursday, it was really nice. I was wearing short sleeves and capris and my flip-flops. And then Friday, we woke up to like six inches, five or six inches of snow. It was nuts. And then cold all weekend long. And then today, it's absolutely gorgeous again. So, you know, whatever. Who knows what's going on? You know, the South is seriously, seriously having some bipolar issues. Okay. So this one, we stamped all of our little um, robots. I stamped a little robot on the inside, and then here's the envelope. But here's what I forgot to do. I forgot to put the little googly eyes on these two here. So I'm just going to do that right now, and I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to actually put orange eyes on him. And then I'm going to put these baby blues on her okay now then I have done one each of all of the cards so now I can go back and I can tell you uh, what you're gonna have left over okay so let me just leave these sit right here okay there we go all right so you use uh, one, one set of four different colors for each set of three cards. So if that be the case, then you end up with, let's see, two more sets. So you end up with all of that left over. Okay, so that's quite a lot. You can make a lot of extra things. Let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 extra sets of eyes left over. So you have a lot to choose from there. And then for the stickers, um, these two strips we didn't use at all, so those are still available. Um, I think you have to do a little mixing and matching as in uh, this robot body, so we're looking at this one here. Um, there's two left on this one if you alternate using different colors that you could do here. Um, and then for this one, if you traded out that for this, for one of them, and then use that one for the other, um, and then use that head and that head, um, you still have enough body parts for four, four different uh, robots. So you could still do two more cards like this. These ones were stamped, so that doesn't matter. Uh, for the bows, there's definitely uh, more than four bows left. Um, to do those and then there's two more of the little heart belly areas so that's fine um, she has a little orange pokey dotted body but there's two um, oh there's three different colors here so uh, you know there's four of them so you'd only need two so you'd have two extra of those You'll still have a few of the bows. I mentioned that. All of these little cogs right here we didn't use, and we didn't use any of the stars here. Um, and then the flowers, let's see, um, three, you need six approximately, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's five flowers left on this one sheet. Um, you could take a pencil or a marker or something and make another flower out of one of those if you wanted, or go ahead and break into this other sheet that we didn't even touch yet. Okay, so that says that there are tons of supplies left over that you could use to make whatever you wanted, right? So there's lots of extra supplies left, plus you still have, of course, the uh, the stamp set. So um, let me just. Well, give me a piece of paper. There we go. So now you can see the stamp set, right? 
So there's a lot of stuff here that you're able to use even after you make all nine of the cards, uh, which makes it really an incredible value. Um, like I said, the kit was $23, um, of course, before shipping and tax, but $23. It includes a stamp set. It includes two ink spots and an acrylic block. So this is a terrific um a terrific project kit for any new stampers for someone who wants a uh, quick and easy fun projects to do um, lots of other things too so super cute super fun I'm definitely going to go back and entertain that um, where was it this not that one the uh, the idea of <laughs> where is it it must be on an envelope. There it is. The idea of the uh, <laughs> the robot face with the cogs. So anyway, I've thought of a couple of fun little ideas for some alternative projects. Maybe I will do a little bit more playing this evening and uh, we'll post them in the next day or two. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that because I am kind of busy and I'm getting ready to... Um, to do some big things this weekend so I won't have a whole lot of time but uh, maybe I'll just play for a little bit okay all right thank you guys so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed these projects and if you would like to purchase the uh, robot buddies card kit it is available in my store uh, you can go to Dana Sullivan stampin net and purchase yours if you use the host code, that would be wonderful, and uh, I will be sending out little thank you gifts to all of my customers. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and until next time, my friends, have a super fabulous, wonderful day. Bye for now.